from Sacramento. It's Let's Spend the Night Together with Dante and Craig. And musical guests, The Flaming Lips and Miley Cyrus. Take it away, boys. You got satin shoes. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Let's Spend the Night Together. I'm your host for the night, Dante. With me, as always, is my colleague, cohort, and co-conspirator. Mr. Craig, Craig, oh, how are boy. things tonight? Things are looking pretty good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you might be asking <laughs> yourself, the energy. those new people, what have I stumbled upon? Well, yeah. let me tell you, this is a late night chat show where we discuss mm-hmm. a wide variety of topics and news. Primarily, we focus our attention on uh, pop culture, yeah. music, religion, sex, drugs, and the mothership. That's oh. an old one, yeah. Oh my god. If you're offended... Is there be another P-Funk story? P-Funk, yeah. If you are offended by anything, and I mean anything that you hear, we hope you keep an open mind and remember that these are just jokes. Mm. Just keep telling yourself that. Mm-hmm. Um, with that being said, we've assembled a terrific show for you tonight. What a show this would be to just stumble on. <laughs> yeah, it's it's <laughs> that would be very bizarre. This, yeah, I'd imagine this is the sort of show that you you're you're two or three hours in on YouTube. You've already yeah. gone down the rabbit hole. You've already learned yeah. about uh, Tower Seven. Oh my god! Exactly. It'd be it'd be post Tower Seven <laughs> videos. Yeah, that would lead you to something. Like Bush that. didn't Seven uh, Eleven. Everybody Bush knows did that. Seven Eleven. And then finally, <laughs> it would probably be some kind of Altamont situation. You know, what, yeah, what went down? To Altamont. The Rolling Stones and Alt- Altamont in the sixties. And it's like there's lots of huge publications that have covered it, but you kind of scroll past those and then yeah. see our. Well, every it's been done to death, Altamont. but you want to hear just a different take on it. No, what's funny is I think maybe that's what's gotten us. We don't have like a lot of views on like anything, but yeah, jigs up. What's yeah, what's gotten it as many views as it has is it doesn't seem like that many people have talked about Altamont. Yeah, so it kind of seems like or maybe we should talk like about it more. YouTube. Maybe that should yeah. be our like our chief. Like I topic. think people look if if they were to look. We'd be like probably not that far down the list. Our podcast on it on Altamont. I will. I hope. I hope like, people seriously. They want to know what happened. They heard about yeah. that terrible, terrible murder that occurred. Oh my! And god. And they stumble upon this this podcast because it's very educational. I know yeah, that if we, I heard it, I would think these guys are completely serious about everything. Yeah, totally. This is like the History Channel. You learn everything you need to know about Altamont in that episode. <laughs> yeah, that was our second episode. We help you learn. Real good. Yeah. All right. Uh, like I said before, we have assembled a show for you tonight. If it's going to be good or bad, you can be... Uh, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. you have can... a cocktail. Smoke a doobie. Yeah, one of your, one of your weed. Smoke a game. Yeah, one of your Bob Marley 420s and Papyrus. just relax. All right, so yeah. we had a few segments tonight, Craig. Uh, and we're going to be talking about all kinds of good stuff. Some of our segments are pretty, like... Critically acclaimed, too, which is good. Yeah, I don't mean to beat my own horn, but toot, yeah. toot. Honk, honk. Uh, so we're going to be talking about why Miss America is sexist. Not uh, sexy. I got that wrong earlier. Yeah. And I was reprimanded. Oh, yeah. I so. get those mixed up, too. Sexy or sexist. Because mm. which one am I? I just forget. I, I'm a little of both, I think, actually. So. Corey, can you grab so a uh, dictionary? I'm going to tell you why skirts are for boys. Uh, okay. We're going to talk case. about uh, why Crystal case. Meth went to jail. Skirts are for boys, change my mind. <laughs> uh, we're going to get into a little what story. Was the last one? Oh, uh, Crystal Meth goes to jail. Oh. I uh, hope it's the band, the Crystal Method. <laughs> they all went to jail for having shitty music and records. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you a story about a Grand Theft Monkey. Uh, we're going to discuss the confessions of a ring rat. Which oh, I can't no, wait for. Rat. That's for our wrestling fans out there. Yeah, so Ring Rat would be like kind of like a groupie for pro wrestlers. For pro right? wrestlers, yeah. Maybe somebody time. that wants to... For sports entertainment superstars? 
Yes. I accidentally said wrestlers. I meant to say sports entertainment superstars. I apologize. Sorry, Vince. McMahon. You are forgiven. We would have gotten Consider sued this by Vince my McMahon. public apology. He would have <laughs> He would have said, "Craig Dante, you're <laughs> Did you ever see I like I kept watching up to the point where uh, I guess it was the Attitude Era where he'd have yeah. all the, they'd always bring like the woman on the stage or the oh with Mr. McMahon and Mr. McMahon would like there was one in particular where he's like get down on your knees and bark like a dog bark what? bark like a dog yeah oh my god and it's it was this whole tap. it was this whole thing smell yes. the glove <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a brilliant insane. idea why hasn't yeah. anybody thought of it before that's your next album Cena <laughs> <laughs> there's kids out there Vince no I don't care. So he was telling a girl to get on her knees and bark like a dog? Yeah, that's just the whole like wow. e- evil Vince McMahon, Mr. McMahon, okay, where, yeah. where the, he would tell people, yeah, he like, a heel. kiss my ass, kiss it, kiss my ass, like that whole <laughs> would thing. Would he do that? Yeah, and then oh, he would, yeah. and but but it was like, kiss it or you <sighs> his um his His wife was like somehow in some kind of like weird zombie state. Like vegetative oh state, God. where she was in a it was wheelchair, like Nora and Mr. Freeze, <laughs> <laughs> and he was trying to like br- get divorced. I can't remember yeah. what the storyline was, but he was trying to cheat, and you know, like in front of her, uh, uh, with his, some girl, exactly, yeah. And then uh, things didn't go right. Oh, so Vince, you know, right. being diabolical, of course, yeah. he eventually gets his comeuppance, but he oh, he okay. ruins this girl's life. and he makes her bark like a dog. Oh so. my God, was it even storyline, or was that all just real? <laughs> That just happened. Yeah, Vince. the cameras were just on. They're just like, <laughs> yeah. keep it rolling. Let's keep what shooting. What did Stephanie and Shane O'Mac think? I uh, think they were right next. Stephanie's like standing right there on the stage while he's you are a dog cheating on his vegetable mom. Well, eventually it was mom. great because the mom like she he gets to come up and because she stands up, she's like no longer the great a vegetable. Kali comes out and like touches her forehead and she Kali Ma and she <laughs> stands up and then she like slaps Vince. No, uh, yeah. oh, that's good. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's he gets. Gets his in the end, you know. She he like torments her and cheats on multiple yeah. women for months and months, <laughs> and then in the end, you know, he gets yeah. slapped in the face. He gets That's humiliated. Nice, nice climate. Yeah, it's so terrible. It's terrible. All right, but uh, before <laughs> it's kind of a weird uh, <laughs> monologue, but oh my god, you're not gonna get so that or anywhere else. Yeah. All right, but before all that happens, before we get to more wrestling talk. Um, ring we're rats. gonna be talking the flaming lips selling piss. That's right, I said it. I'll oh say it again. God. All right, in a little segment we like to call It's Only Rock and Roll. But I like it. I'm just getting better and better <laughs> at that, guys. Oh, no. Nah. Remember to uh, subscribe yeah. and comment while yeah. you guys are at it. I know uh, if you're still listening. Kudos. Yeah. I respect you. You got you. through the toughest part. That's the toughest part. And All right. You already clicked the thumbs up. I appreciate that. I'm already thanking you for that. I'm not going to hide the lead, Craig. Yeah. Flaming lips are selling piss. So this is our music <laughs> segment we try to get in every episode. Exactly. Where we really get into the nitty gritty details. What's going on? Music. And these, these musicians' lives, man. I yeah. Mean, it's like a topsy-turvy <laughs> world. You're going all over the globe. You're just, mm-hmm. like, rocking out in, in Cancun, and you're shooting heroin in Amsterdam. Oh, and it's like, you're, the you're doing all this stuff. So we're going to just... Sweet, sweet age. This is, like, yeah. This is uh, this is the 4 four one one on what's going on yeah, in the music biz. the music biz. So Miley Cyrus has flaming lips seen yellow. <laughs> so Miley Cyrus pissed on Wayne... This Coyne is courtesy whatever, of uh, Breitbart. Oh, Thank okay. you, Brett Bart. Uh, fans accustomed to being shocked by Miley Cyrus may soon be able to feel it in their own hands, in the form of a vinyl album with her own urine. What? Bitch, how you gonna piss on my vinyls? These are my records. Flaming oh, Lips, wow. the fantastical space age rockers. Now. <laughs> Real Pretty quick, accurate. <laughs> uh, this is one of those things where a little piece of me died. Yeah. Where I sacrificed a little myself for the audience, having to read. Take another little piece of my heart. Yeah. Uh, I'll say it again. and This is just really cringy. Yeah. The Flaming Lips, the fantastical space age rockers. Uh, collaborated with a pop singer on her 2015 album, Miley Cyrus and her dead pets. 
with a Z, Pets, said that they were looking to reissue the work on vinyl. For who? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, with a special edition. We'd get, uh, this quote, we'd get a good amount of Miley's pee and mix it with some glitter and put it in. Flaming Lips frontman Wayne Cohn, who is s- <laughs> scratching the bottom of the barrel when it comes Jeez. to ideas, told Britain's new music express site, I've already been in a big ball, so, you know, why not piss? I've already been in a big ball. <laughs> yeah, wasn't he just, he yeah, was he, just getting up? No, he didn't. Didn't he, get, no, he didn't, <laughs> didn't he get in a big like ball and a like big plastic the ball crowd? and crawl around yeah. in the crowd and everybody like, wow, so, this is so much fun. We're all having so, a party. Uh, We're like a community. Yeah. One tribe. We are one people. We are one people. Everybody <laughs> doing Molly and watching. I love band. you. I took so much Molly. I love you. Yeah. Uh, the Oklahoma band has been known for its own <laughs> eyebrow raising antics when oh, Cone crews in the crowd in a giant bubble to mix in beer and their own blood onto vinyl. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. God. Outrageous. That's better than piss. Rock and roll. Yeah, but not by far. Yeah. <laughs> but not, not by much, though. All right. I uh, said, I think that, I think that, fuck me. All right. Jesus Christ. I think that would up the ante, don't you? Cohen said of the urine infused album. Wow. Yeah, it would it would up the ante. Wouldn't it up the yeah. ante if we all just smeared shit on each other? Yeah, that it, is it's just because just because people pay attention to you doesn't mean they respect you. And this right. isn't art or anything. This is just like that's commercial bullshit. Hey, just the buy only this like problem nonsense. With- the flaming lips. <clears throat> it remains to be seen whether they will follow up on the idea. Cohn, in 2015, said the flaming lips and Cyrus were planning a concert in which all perfor- performers and audience members would be completely naked. Oh, but there is no sign that the show took place. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> wow. I bet everybody in the crowd would be super respectful, too, don't you? I can just guarantee it. <sighs> I'm just going to let... I mean, that that's how I feel, just the silence. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to go run a lap, everybody. Uh, we'll be back after this. You know, each week I come to you through the courtesy of my mother and father in Chesterfield. Chesterfield. You start with the great eight tobacco, the best that you can get. It's the sound of big pleasure, the sound I'll be making for Chesterfield in this time spot every week be easy for me because Chesterfield is my brand. It has been for years. No kidding. Satisfied customer. I wear them every day. Chesterfield. Big flavor. Clean, smooth, fresh. More of what you're smoking for. Why? Straight grade A tobaccos in this cigarette. The best tobaccos in the USA. Mm-hmm. So smoke them and get satisfied, friend. And that's how it's going to be around here. Chesterfield for Sinatra. You come around Friday nights here, see the fun and hear me tell you about Because that's why I always keep a pack of Chesterfields in my pocket. Because it's smooth and clean, and that's the taste that I like. After I sing a show to a bunch of people, with the Rat Pack and Dino and those boys. I have a pack of Chesterfields, one after the other, all the way through. (laughs) And my lungs never felt better, Jack. My lungs (laughs) thank me afterwards. (laughs) They give me a hearty thank you. Oh, my God. Chesterfield. Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's put the night together. How's it going? Man, he's funky. Mr. David Bowie. Yeah, and special shout out to our sponsors again. We got another nice subscription <clears throat> from or donation. Yeah, from uh, Chesterfield cigarettes. I which we love our clean, cigarettes. Fresh, smooth. Uh, what else? Relaxing, <laughs> healthy, relaxing. Uh, th- it's great because actually now you can smoke. 
while you're pregnant because they have these special cigarettes. They don't oh, hurt the baby. That's right. Don't hurt, hurt the, the baby, baby which is very important for an expecting mother. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you don't want to hurt the baby? Yeah. Yep, uh everybody, we uh got another uh segment for you. And uh, you got another thing coming if you don't think we have another <laughs> segment coming. It's called Cruise in the World. Ah, Cruise in the World. This one's pretty good. We take a peek from around the world story. You know, it might be weird or whatnot. It might be. It's an important news story from around the world. This just makes me want to... In our little <clears throat> bubble here in the United States. To rave. Get some glow sticks. Yeah. Get all e-tarded. Alright, Craig. Um, skirts are cool, boys are told. Yeah. School band shorts in summer in favor of gender-neutral uniform policy. The skirts are gender-neutral. <laughs> gender <neutral. laughs> skirts are cool, boys are told. Uh, yeah, that school... always works when you tell kids what are cool, when adults tell kids. Yeah. That always Wear these sweating. skirts, lads. <laughs> yeah. A uh, school has said boys who find trousers too hot in the summer months should insta- instead wear a skirt. Instead of shorts? Instead of shorts. So basically shorts are would be a dress code violation. Like it's not part of the uniform. Yeah, you can either wear pants, pants or a skirt. Or a skirt. Uh, but a part shorts of the ge- are it's not gender, gender neutral, apparently, is what they're saying. No. <laughs> I don't know if they know what they're saying. Uh, Chiltern Edge Secondary School in Oxfordshire has oh. banned boys My from... My uncle went there. Wearing shorts and insists that those who don't want to wear trousers must don a skirt. Oh boy! Leader to the school in sunny in sunny common introduced. Oi, bro! You got to wear a skirt, mate. Yeah. It's uh, I know it's hot, but you, I don't want to wear. I don't want to see pants, right? Look at this pansy wearing shorts. <laughs> He's not even wearing a skirt. Oi, bruv, you got a license for those shorts. <laughs> uh, leaders at the school in Sunning Common introduced a more formal... This is more formal. You're not even non-binary. Oi, mate. Non-binary. No. <laughs> okay. I've told you a million times <laughs> I'm Zer, all right? <laughs> it's they and them, all right? It's the in Queen's the... realm, innit? <laughs> bruv. Bruv, look at me. I'm Zer. Oh my god. Uh, they said they introduced a more formal uniform, uniform policy at the beginning uh-huh. of the academic year. It stipulated that the only legwear permitted was trousers or skirts. Sounds very yeah. British to me, actually. Very British. And, and, and it's like, what did, what did Archie Bunker always say about the English? I can't. Oh, yeah. Uh, following the he change. Wasn't, uh, very complimentary. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Didn't <laughs> he beat them, Edith, in the, uh, that Revolutionary War? <laughs> Remember when we went to Pearl Harbor against the British? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Archie, like, Archie Bunker's a little off on the specific facts, but... Uh. Yeah. Following the change, <laughs> parent Alistair Vince Portis mm. asked... Uh, those abbreviated names I fucking hate. Or the hyphenated. Oh, the hyphenated, yeah. yeah. Asked staff if his son could wear tailored shorts, but the school said that they were not part of the uniform. They, the, the bemused father then told Very bemused. that the uniform policy was gender neutral, and the boys could, of course, wear a skirt if they wish. Sounds very gender neutral. Yeah. Pants or a skirt. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> like, okay, you could let the boys wear skirts if they want, right? Well, here's Why not the, pants, shorts, or skirts? Here's the kicker, though, Craig. Like, the no. move follows <laughs> a trend for schools adopting gender-neutral policies to help transgender pupils oh, feel more welcome. Yeah. Many schools... I, Have they had... A, any of those schools had a transgender student yet? Even if the transgender... <laughs> per, okay, the transgender person, yeah. they're trying... They're, they, 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 they feel... They believe that they are the other sex, right? Yeah. The gender, yeah. right? So that wouldn't mean then that every every other person of the opposite gender would have to dress like the gender that they think they are. Or you know, yeah. like, if you th- yeah. if I thought I was a woman, then I wouldn't ask for all the all the boys at the school to then wear yeah, skirts yeah, yeah. To, to help me or feel more ladylike. Thought or like what you were a you thought you were a man. 
going the, the other way, yeah, then your choices would only be pants and skirt, and you wouldn't want to wear a skirt. Yeah, and you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't tell like all the so girls be way, like, "Hey, I'm transitioning, so why don't you all wear pants?" Yeah, like, right, right. Either way, they're probably like. I would think they'd just be like, no, I'm cool. You don't have to make that policy. Like, mm-hmm. that's not going to help me. Like, I have it hard enough. You don't... Yeah. Like, how is that going to help my experience as a transgender person? You know, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the school adopting this policy. I would think that's what... Yeah, the, 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 like, the, like, the, the gender dysphoria doesn't... Wouldn't just <laughs> Yeah, you're not away. helping at all by uh, doing that law. Yeah. What about or a little bit of work. solidarity and we just all wear burkas from now on? Oh, no, there we or go. just, like, yeah. just sacks just over our head. Suit. And just a blank or like uh, that covers your face. Yeah, yeah. What, what's that? What is that like? T X or T H X eleven thirty eight. Yeah, we'll all shave our heads and just yeah. wear like uh, <laughs> blue work uniforms. Yeah, exactly. It'll be great. Or the, what the droogs wear. And <laughs> proper orange. Oh man, maybe one day, Craig. A bit of the old in and out, love. Okay, so uh, transgender students, many schools now say skirts and trousers can be worn by either gender. Under the Equality Act, schools have a duty to protect transgender students from discrimination. Uh, yeah, this this case comes to light as the weekend as the temperature soars to seventy nine. Yeah, that that reasoning doesn't make sense. You're like, you know, we're gonna stop serving hot dogs. Because we want transgender people to feel... Like, what does that have to do with... Yeah. Why does the skirt instead of shorts... I don't understand how that helps transgender people. Uh, the <laughs> Mr. Vince Portis said, I was told shorts are not part of the uniform. It's a shame we can't be more grown up about it. Bigot! We it's aren't so asking good. for rah-rah skirts or skinny jeans. Just gray tailored shorts for two months a year. It's not a big deal. It's very strange. I know that in the past other schools have worn skirts, so I asked if my son was able to do that, and the school said yes, fellow parent Joanne Muday said. They it's wanted... it's nuts to make the kids wear blazers and ties when it gets very hot. It's so why don't they that... just wear skirts instead? It's nuts that when they wear skirts you can see they're nuts. And normally it'd be... <laughs> you wouldn't have that problem normally. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh geez. God. I just yeah, that's a strange. It's a, it's uh it's a strange one out there, people. It's a strange. One, right? <laughs> Seems strange to like just start taking away things. Mm. Like how who mm. is that helping? I I don't understand. I don't know how that makes anyone feel better. <laughs> it made me feel better. <laughs> Strangely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, it made me feel better that I don't live in the UK. Yeah, no shit. I love all the people of the UK. Yeah. But I don't love... I love the culture. I just don't like the laws. The laws, exactly. And the the society. Yeah. (laughs) Whatever uh, it's turned uh, into. What's his name? Churchill. He's the last (laughs) last one I like. Yeah. You're fond of that guy? (laughs) And John Lydon. Those are the two biggies. I like Nigel Farage myself. Well, I mean, I like a bunch of their, yeah, like musicians, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, as far as their... Uh, politicians, their politicians, their white wig, <laughs> powder faced <laughs> politicians. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, don't their judges do that? Yeah, oh yeah, still yeah. the magistrate. The magistrate. Yeah, and they look like George fucking Washington. <laughs> Did you ever see the Law and Order UK edition? Because they no. they dress like that and do the, they and really? the legs and everything. Yeah, and they have like this whatever their version of Sam. Waters it's strange. Or it yeah, is. which is crazy. That's like you know when God made him, he threw away everything else, all the extra parts, <laughs> made him oh for god. himself. Oh my god, they broke the mold. <laughs> Yeah. Hurry, there's, this person just died. We have to figure out, oh, I have to powder my nose and put <laughs> on my wig. Hold on a moment. It's weird. They're, they have fucking goofy, goofy laws, like yeah. Skyrim laws over there. Uh, Skyrim yeah. laws. If dragons somehow come back, there will be frost dragons. I don't mean to rag fire dragons. on the UK fans, but I really don't like <laughs> the, the, uh, uh, the yeah, College everything. of Winterhold. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There, there's silly laws over there, as, yeah. and especially like with speech and some other things yeah. that have been going on. It's just, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but uh, I like the, Godspeed, the guys. Yeah, the Beatles are pretty good. I hope they're coming back. They're pretty good, yeah. Mm. All right, guys. Uh, 
Get a load of this. Oh. Spend the night together. Welcome back, everybody. We could take a short break. Yeah, some woke Bob Dylan. Good God, y'all. <laughs> Another segment. The wokest Robert Zimmerman. So woke. Now this next segment, segment Craig. I stay woke. <laughs> Rob Zimmerman. Yeah. Robert Zimmerman, a uh, good friend. <clears throat> we we like to take a moment to talk about life, love, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, relationships, just family. Oh know, yeah, just, just the, the yeah, strange the, bond between men and women. It's just yeah. You know, what is what is, is love? What is, what is love? Attraction, the laws of attraction. Mm-hmm. Really uh, like in a segment that we like to call "Take My Breath Away." Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just dancing. Guys, you can't see this, but I'm just, I'm dancing right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's some beautiful music. All right. Now, this is... I, I promised everybody at the beginning of the show we were going to have a little Confessions of a Ring Rat. That's oh, what yeah. got us into the whole Vince McMahon thing. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't help myself. Uh, this is quite, quite the story. This is, a uh, Ring Rat, of course, is a woman that likes to uh, garner the attention of pro wrestlers. Oh, my God. And she's happy to do it. She's happy to help them out. Cause she likes to warm their bed. Everybody is friends in the situation. Mm. And this is a very interesting story that I've actually had for a little while. I haven't been able to, to show. Just to help ease the tension off some of the wrestlers. Exactly Take the right. edge off. Exactly right. Uh, Sue Shooter is a very... Sue it's either Shooter or Cutter. He C- hardly knew her. Shooter. C-H-U-T-E-R. C-H-U-T-E-R. Yeah, Shooter. Yeah. Shooter. Sue Shooter. Is a ring rat. Did she lick her first, or just start by chewing her? Sue Shooter is... I'm going to keep thinking of if I can get more variations of that. Yeah, you got to keep keep spitballing. (laughs) Uh, Sue Shooter is a ring rat and makes no apologies about it. Uh Just take a look at this. this, That was beaut. That's Sue (laughs) Shooter? Oh my god, it looks like Jim Cornette, more than anything. Jeez, that's not good. <laughs> it does look like corny. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. You gotta get the, get the cornet picture. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so she makes no... She, she's a beaut. She makes no apologies about about it, about being a ring No, rat. she doesn't. As a young you woman... What, Dusty Rhodes fucking stuffed her head right, on the couch I would and always, went uh, to town? Me and Thu, I, I was very... Thu pe- Chuda. I was very, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Close to her. All right, she so was very delicate, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> she is a deep and warm person, Daddy. Oh my God! Uh, as a young, she warm, Daddy. <laughs> my son Gold Dust. He said, "Daddy, why she so warm?" <laughs> we share this woman. I said, "You sit there and you watch, <laughs> Gabriel." 
As a young woman, uh, yeah. so she she was a ring rat, and as a young woman and devoted fan in the heyday of world championship wrestling in oh, Australia, WCW, WCW, uh, Australia, Melbourne based Sue Melbourne. rooted some of the wrestlers' biggest overseas stars. She rooted them. She she's rooted. She's, she's a rat. She fucking sucked them, is what she did. She's always been attracted to the wrestlers, watching them on TV, and then seeing them live at Melbourne's festival halls. And then having them in her mouth. She sucked and fucked her way through the whole roster. Oh my god. Um, Then being airtight by her three favorite wrestlers. That was the pinnacle. Oh, uh, man. Have you read this before? Cause yeah. We'll just wait till we get to the, the specifics. It's like Chris Jericho, Chris, <laughs> Chris Benoit, and fucking Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> oh, my God. We're supposed to tap out. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, Chris shouldn't have practiced that on his family members, his moves. Chokeholds and such. I don't think that, that you know, a si- little side... Uh, yeah. Side bet here. Side uh, I don't think that that went down exactly the way that the the news reported the it. Chris Benoit yeah. tragedy. I don't think that he was in his right mind. Oh my god! And he might have made some mistakes. You don't think he was in some, his right mind when he some things might have been the said pillow down his fucking children's throats. All right, but that's not, this isn't about Chris. All right, no. he had his spotlight. Right, great this wrestler, is, great wrestler though. Diving headbutt. I mean, oh come my on, God. He was uh, killer move set. Oof, took took oof. his his skills a little too seriously at times. I think. All took, right. Took his work home with him. You might say, and uh, that wasn't a good good look. Uh, <laughs> all right. So Sue, she she's rooted around with some of the biggest wrestlers she's overseas. <laughs> rooted she's around like a noodle. pig. Right. That's, that's the only. That's the In a only. trough for wrestler trough. She's always been attracted to the wrestlers. All right, so she yeah, she no met shit. him at the Melbourne Festival Hall. Sue became a ring rat on May 9th, 1970. Oh, no. Four days after turning 19. She How was there an exact date? Because it was four days after her turning 19. And she just looked up and she was praying to God and said, Today I shall be henceforth well, a ring rat. I, don't, I think if it's like... And if you're... she stuffed Dusty Rose in her mouth and... <laughs> Uh, so, so, day after turning 19, she went to a show with a friend, and both were invited to Jerry Briscoe, or with, oh. invited by Jerry Briscoe up to his hotel room. Jerry Briscoe. Oh, Jerry Briscoe's hotel room. Once they arrived, he told them to take the clothes off, and He said, no, give Sabrina, a, I want you on the bed on all fours. Just don't, don't stare <laughs> at it. Eat it. <laughs> he said, once they... Do you they, like Huey Lewis in the news? Sue, do you like Huey? Have you ever heard of Whitney oh, Houston yeah. before, Sue? Her first al- album, titled simply Whitney. <laughs> Once they arrived, he told them to take off their clothes and give him a blowjob or get out of his room. Wow. I'll be honest with you. Oh, shit. I'll be honest with you. That's how you greet people when they come over to your house? I'll be honest with you. I shit myself, Sue laughed. Oh, wow. I had so no... you probably wanted her to leave then, too. Yeah, if you defecate, you have to leave yeah, the room. Let's get cleaned breaker. up. And come back. Come on, Sue. Boy named Sue. She oh, looks... looks I'm, not, I'm not gonna go there. I'm, I'm gonna judge her. I'm better than that. That's come the on. boy named Sue. I'm better than that. Yeah. Alright, so you said, give me a blowjob or hit the bricks. Um, oh, gee, you jabroni. <laughs> you jabroni, you mark. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest with you. I shit myself, she laughed. I had no idea what I was thinking. I got half undressed, and Jerry took the rest off. Wow. And then Sue blew Let's the go. blew the later the NWA blew the World Tag Team Champ. Then she blew the two-time tag team champ. <laughs> they throw in his accolades as a performer for some reason. What a uh, time to compliment him. Oh, my God. Okay, so it was, she says, uh, <laughs> That's it, amazing. <laughs> It was the first time I'd ever done it, she explained. I didn't even... That was, she was a virgin? I didn't even know what it meant. Oh, to blow? Somebody? Both of us did it to him at the same time. Tony Parisi, then known as Antonio Puglisi, came up later, and we took care of him as well. Then Eric Froelich and Mark Lewin, then Gary Hart and Ivan Koloff. I was... What? 
it was a mon- uh, momentous weekend for Sue, as she was Jimmy Hart initiated into sick. the ranks of rattiness. Ugh. Although she didn't fuck any of the guys that night. Quote, she it was only blowjobs for two of the guys that I can remember, Jerry and Tony. Oh, it was fantastic. Going to the wrestlers. Oh. Then after the lewds, there were probably dozens more. She says, it was fantastic. <laughs> Going to the wrestlers and being involved then with I them blew. physically. Of course. Oh, my God. Uh, Sue to not also only watch got... the wrestlers in the ring, but to have them in my mouth back in their hotel room was an experience like no other. It was the best autograph a girl could ask oh for. Oh, my God. A white autograph right on my forehead. Sue. From Jerry, the Jerry Briscoe. <laughs> tag team champ extraordinaire. <laughs> he gave me a tapioca <laughs> stamp right across oh my, my back. Oh, uh, She says... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Sue also got her first inkling that not everything was kosher in pro wrestling. Oh my god. <laughs> there were Gentiles, too. No. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Is that all she means? <laughs> Some of them were not cut. Um, pro wrestling. What, is, uh, uh, what was it? <laughs> this looks so tiny. Yeah. Okay. Who Jerry Briscoe She did. says the heels and faces were mixing together. That's when I was shocked, because we were marks at, the, at that stage. <laughs> I love how she refers to herself as a mark. Oh my God. <laughs> Sue quickly developed a, a soft spot for wrestler Gary Hart, who I'm pretty sure is like, <laughs> not going to be Brett's. I was hoping it was Jimmy Hart. Who m- most modern fans himself. would remember as a heel manager warned against the Von Erichs in the Dallas during the 1980s. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, she says, one time I went to Gary's room, and later he introduced me to Kurt and Carl Von Steiger. And uh, as his girlfriend, uh, if Gary told me to jump, I'd say, how high? <laughs> I'd say, how far down my throat? He's like, no, I didn't say blowjob. It. Gosh, Sue, I'm saying jump. If Gary told me to jump, I'd say, who's jump? Oh, my God. Even to this day, I adore Gary, she said. If he came back to Australia now, I'd still sleep with him. Oh, oh so. my God. But he's dead, so I can't. <laughs> uh, but Hart wasn't the first wrestler Sue fucked. Oh, geez. That honor went to the midget grappler Lord Littlebrook in 1971. Or, uh, what's, <laughs> what's, the, what's the other dude? Lord Littlebrook? Lord Littlebrook. What's the redheaded <laughs> one? Oh, you mean, uh... <laughs> Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle. <laughs> Hornswoggle was supposed to be Vince McMahon's illegitimate bastard son. He was this midget. He was this midget that they brought on. I just, you're my son, but no one will know. You're a half You're fired from You're this. not even a real man. You're a halfling. <laughs> you're not even good as Lord Little oh my God. Peter Dinklage is better than you. Uh... So I she gotta, fucked Hornswoggle? She fucked Lord Littlebrook. Oh, I gotta Lord say that again. Why is it Lord Littlebrook? Oh, I get it. He was a midget grappler. Funny stuff. But Hart grappler. wasn't the first wrestler who fucked. That honor went to midget grappler Lord Littlebrook in 1971. He could fit his whole head in my put. Uh, actually, don't print this part. I felt like I was giving birth in reverse. Oh my god. I was... Hey babe, wanna give birth to <laughs> How do you say no to that? Yeah, it's so exactly. romantic. I was so naive in those days. She recalled. I honestly, little people. I honestly thought. That I honestly thought he'd have a huge dick, even though he was little. <laughs> Poor Sue. Oh, oh my god! I was so naive in those days. She recalled. I honestly thought I wanted to go to the toilet, but it was me having orgasms all the time. Uh, oh, so she's she's a sprayer? I guess. Is that what she's saying? He gave me my first <laughs> orgasm four times in two hours. It's like penthouse letters, but for old, gross ladies. <laughs> so he said most of the Americans expected a blowjob and nothing more. Probably because it was healthier and safer than straight sex. They, as she says, they weren't interested in screwing. They didn't know who you'd been with, and you didn't know who they'd been with. Never at you any time. You knew what time. their finisher was, but you didn't know if they want to finish inside you or... Way to sell, Sue. 
god. No, my jaw's actually broken. Oh my god. Uh, they weren't, okay, what is it? They weren't interested in, you don't know if there's a lot of STDs. Yeah. Never at any time was Sue concerned about pregnancy or STDs. No, I pulled out really early on that one. <laughs> uh, she said, I was with one of the other midgets, Sue recalled. He was very strange in his sexual ways. Yeah, but they have names. He so. believed in anal sex. <laughs> he believed in <laughs> In the same way that Sue praised the god, this man believed in anal sex. He had he faith was, in anal sex. He was sex. a flat earther. <laughs> he believed in anal sex. <laughs> he had faith. Uh, he had faith in anal sex. It will going? save us. Uh, oh he believed in anal sex. Oh, I gotta say, yeah. he was very strange in his sexual ways. He believed, believed in anal sex. In anal sex. <laughs> he believed it would save us. <laughs> the human race. <laughs> Come with me. Let me fuck your ass if you want to live. Oh my god. <laughs> and, and I didn't know if I believed him, but I believe Aang will save the world. <laughs> It just becomes the last airbender. <laughs> uh, okay, his name was... Okay, hold that. This has to yeah. be fake. Okay. Who, hey, Lord Littlebrook? Or no, this is a different one. She doesn't this is another midget game. wrestler, midget grappler. So she grappler. sucked all the midget grapplers' dicks. Well, they fuck. Well, the oh, midgets fuck. like to fuck. Because they have huge dicks and they like to fuck. His name was Wee Willie Wilson from Florida. Mm, Wee Willie Wilson? From Florida, of course. Florida man. Yeah. And he was very well hung. Oh. After that, I was with Butch Miller from the Bushwhackers before he was a sheep herder. Wow. Uh, well, we, when the f- we sure are impressed. When he f- <laughs> <laughs> so. She says it like, then I hung out with Paul McCartney. Then Eric Clapton came over. <laughs> Except <it's laughs> wrestlers no one even remembers and they're like stuffing stuff in her pussy and getting ahead from her. Oh my god, they're just using poor Sue as like a fleshlight. It's one of them like... gave her spraying orgasm. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> she thought she was like shitting. <laughs> what is it about <laughs> what is it about good sex that makes you have to crap? <laughs> like in Kingpin. Oh my god, okay, um <laughs> why do you first kiss? This feels really good, but should I go take a shit instead of having sex? I mean, I'm really enjoying the sex stuff kind of shit. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> uh, when he that. first came, the Bush... Bu- he, she's talking about Butch Miller from the mm-hmm. Bushwhackers, and she put yeah. it. The when Butch he, Miller? When he first came from New England in 1971, he was a destroyer under a mask. Oh, my God. I met him that through <laughs> Tiger Jeet Singh. Oh, I caught up with... Jushin Thunderlager? I got up with Butch in Anaheim, California, 1996, and I think he remembered me. He was nice. During the early 70s, Sue fucked or sucked (laughs) uh, uh, a veritable who's who of professional wrestlers. Veritable, yeah. yeah. Including Maniac Mark Levin, Mr. Fuji. Well, that's right, Daddy. You know, Sue Chutna. She done took my <laughs> dick all the way across America, daddy. Uh, Ivan Koloff and the Von Steigers, both of them. The Von Steigers. So f- for that, Sue, we salute you here. Let's spend the night yeah. together. We you salute the, you for your service. The Von Steigers did an Eiffel Tower on or anything? <sighs> I have no idea. Well, I, daddy, that's a tale for another day. <laughs> 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 all right, get a load of this. That is Trump works the crowd more than leaving his mark here. He looked me in my eyes, he didn't say anything to me, but he gave me an affirmative nod, like he was confident about his performance tomorrow night. He gave me a sense of pride. We're going to make our country great again, believe me. We will make our country great again. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> let's spend the night together, fellas. The utopia we're living in, get used to it. Maga, 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 maga. Oh, shit. Dante's <laughs> kind of the maga guy. I'm kind of the I'm with her Hillary guy. I don't even like the guy, actually, because I'm kind of... I don't even think. A song, I'm just imagining just uh, a bunch of guys in a club snorting coke. Yeah, this is a little in the cokey, bathroom. cokey song. Oh, yeah. Is this Let's Get Physical? No, it's Gloria by Laura Branigan. Oh, boy. And just... Oh, my God. Oh. 
yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking getting this Lori Branigan shit. Man, her <laughs> album's amazing. Will you keep it down? I'm trying to do drugs over oh here. Oh my god. I was trying to listen to the new Robert Palmer, but my wife, my fiance, Reese Witherspoon, was <laughs> trying to ask when we're going to get married. And I just wanted to stuff a cat into an ATM machine. <laughs> I said, why don't you get breast implants? <laughs> yeah. I'd probably like you more. Your breasts, they're too small. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, this is a great segue, actually. <laughs> Living in America. From Patrick Bateman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's alright! He's alright! Oh, living in America, Craig. Woo! Did you hear about uh, Miss America? Oh, the Miss America pageant? Yeah. I heard some stuff about it. So they're no longer going to have... I heard, first of all, they're not even going to call it a pageant anymore. Yeah. No. Uh, Definitely not. James Brown would not approve. No, I no, I don't think um, so. Here, we might as well yeah. just... Let me get one I living in some, America. some stuff about... Oh, to hear him say it? Yeah. yeah. Ah, <laughs> ah, yeah. All right. This is like the the <laughs> new era of a segment of ours. It's, yeah, we're just going to be talking about politics. Because it, it, remember, it was cruise or was that one cruising USA? No, no. This because there the, was remember there was cruising USA. Yeah, yeah. Born in the USA. Born in the USA. We That's still have that, but this is like uh, a Rolling Stone. Yeah, is yeah. sort of becoming living uh, in America. Living in America. Yeah, political. Social mm-hmm. type of stuff. Yeah. Now we're going to tell you how to, like uh, to really why you should be outraged and, and offended. Yeah. Important Because you're being oppressed right now and you important should Important topics why. like look around for something that offends you. Mm-hmm. That's an important topic. And to third wave about. feminism. Oh, well. That too. All right. So this one comes. Just to name two things. From the BBC.com. The Beeb? Bowie at the Beeb? Miss America <laughs> waves bye bye to bikinis. Yeah. Uh, the Miss America pageant, beauty strange. pageant, beauty pageant. The key word <laughs> being beauty. Is scrapping its swimwear yeah. segment and will no longer judge competitors on physical appearance. Okay. That yeah. kind of sounds like they're just, they're not doing the Miss America pageant anymore then. Then what is it then? Because it, the, is what it, the it whole is thing? is about appearance. Uh, it's a beauty yeah. contest. Yeah. I, I, I thought... But I don't know, you know, I'm a dumb guy. Yeah. I'm a dumb white male, so Which I have is, a small brain. Yeah. If you can come up with something better, that's something. But uh, The evening gown ending. section is also being axed. Uh, the contestants asked to wear something that makes them feel good and expresses their pers- personal style instead. But if, if they happen to be a beautiful woman, honestly, how dare they? Yeah. They need to get the heck out of there. Yeah. They don't. I just want to put them in something like of them to like be uh, like baggy sweatpants <laughs> and like yeah. a ratty yeah. uh, sweater. Or something. That's so disrespectful <laughs> of those women who are born with like symmetrical faces and mm. high cheekbones, and mm. that's really terrible of them. God, why does my <laughs> ass have to be so big? Yeah, why do I so have to plump. have perfect tits? <laughs> um, okay, so Strange. former winner Gretchen Carlson broke the news on ABC's. Good morning, America. I think it would be like hell if I had to wake up, you know, every morning, 6 a.m., rise and shine, you know, get your coffee and oatmeal, Uh and you're ready to go to work, and you're watching Good Morning America, and you're just thinking, is this the day that I just... Good morning, America, how are you? I just drive into the other lane? Yeah. Just one of those days. One of those days. I think that's how uh, Fred Durst actually got the idea of the... Just one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> Free Every, on a leash. Everybody sucks. <laughs> everybody sucks. <laughs> it's like a fucking 12-year-old kid. Yeah. Uh, whatever, Dad. When you're 12 and angry at the world, so you put on Limp biscuit and corn. Yeah. Oh, wait, Fred Durst me. understands. Oh, wait. that's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's me 20 years ago. All right. Um, so yeah, they're this, this dumb thing. We will no longer judge our candidates on their outwards physical appearance. God, no. That's huge, she said. 
Oh my we are no longer a pageant. I don't know what the fuck you guys are. Yeah, said it's just, Carlson. It's something completely the different. The first, first former Miss America to be named chair of the board of trustees, first and last <laughs> of the organization. <laughs> we are a competition, okay? It, what it, are you competing? Like, like, what's right, it's like, okay, <clears throat> you almost have your idea figured out. I don't know why you have to destroy the Miss America pageant to come up with this new idea. Like, mm. it, maybe you're on to something that you can come up with this This will be better, Greg. This that be better celebrates for people for just being, like, great people or something like that. That's cool, but that, like, has nothing to do with the Miss America pageant, you know? Mm-hmm. It's, it's purely, uh... It's like, yeah, being beautiful isn't the most important thing in the world, but, mm-hmm. like, that's not what the pageant was saying. It's just a pageant. That's all it is. You know, like, what is it, that does, that's not an attack on people who aren't beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not offended that they're all, like, better looking than me, (laughs) you know. Uh, Instead of the swimming costume segment, there will be interviews about the contenders who will be asked about their passion, intelligence, and understanding of the Miss America role. Carlson explained, we've heard from a lot of young women who say, we'd love to be a part of your program. But we just don't want to be out there in high heels in a swimsuit. So guess what? You don't have to do that anymore. Who doesn't want to be empowered, learn leadership skills, and pay for college? And be able to show the world who you are as a person. Well, what we tell you you can do, that is, yeah. <laughs> as a person, from the inside of your soul. It sounds like they don't have it fully figured out yet. Yeah. And it sounds like it's a, a separate thing. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. like if, if you could figure that out, go for it. And that's cool. But and it said that the, that woman was like, had been part of the Me Too scandal with uh, Roger Ailes from Fox News and stuff. Uh, so this just seems like <laughs> they're, they're signaling to women like... She's like, has a, she's <clears throat> on a mission... Yeah, you know, it's not going to be anything <laughs> about your looks no, um, but at all anymore. It, so it's just I'm, funny. I'm, it's like the... To me, that sounds like you're, there is, like, one thing that can get you disqualified, and that would be if you're beautiful. Like you're, <laughs> it sounds like you're going to get, like... Oh, yeah, you're going to get scored down. They don't want you... Yeah, like, yeah well, yeah. They, won't, they don't want them competing. No, no. That's, like... Uh, um, that seems strange. It's just very... It's very interesting, this, the, like, this segment, especially. Um, you need to look more, like, homely. Miss More like Shelley Duvall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Who, me? <laughs> Miss America is no longer like Miss America. Miss Overlook Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Boy Scouts are no longer the Boy Scouts. Like, just yeah, kind Scouts. of little things that I don't even think, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care if you told me, like, you know, hey, in ten years, these things won't exist. But it's yeah. not that. It's that they're being repurposed and, like, formats that, yeah. formatted. Basically, that, like, dis- kind of, like... Or, like, co-opted or something. Completely changed to the point where it's almost like destroying it and taking its place with something new. But something that's not as good. It, that's different. Yeah, yeah it's not different. as good. <clears throat> and it's, 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 like... It's weird. It's, like... Why do you have... Why do you, like, have something against the Boy Scouts just because you think... Like men and women should be treated the same. Like you, like start your own. I don't know. Well, it's the like, the the Girl Scouts still exist though. Yeah, there's the Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts. Or there's the Maybe Scouts there be, and the and the well, Girl Scouts. Now yeah, 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 yeah. Now there's a a Scouts of America or whatever. Yeah, a general one that's just for anybody, yeah. and then there's one for just women. No boys allowed. Which is strange. Jeez, Louise, it's huh? like I don't know. It's weird. Couldn't there just be like a third one that's for everybody? <laughs> You'd think, but it's and there's their, a boy one and a girl one or whatever. I don't <clears throat> these, it's just insane at this point. I mean, that's like uh, this yeah, like it's... obsession with gender and letting. Yeah. There's no rules anymore. It's all the same. <laughs> and it seems like, like it's by people who aren't even a part of that world that are fighting. For you them. mean uh, part of the <laughs> world that would even have their fucking kids in the Boy Scouts? Is that what yeah. you're talking about? Well, I, I I looked into that Boy Scouts thing a week after they announced that they were going to be taking Boy Scouts out of their names. Yeah. Uh, the Latter Day Saints, the Mormons, yeah. took like almost a quarter of their membership, the Boy Scouts. I membership, heard something like that. Wasn't it like out. a million or something? It was. Like that, it was a. It was a quarter of a million or something like that. That's, uh, right. That's And they're like, no, we're not going to have like we're just going to start our own thing. Yeah. So instantly, you lose a quarter. 
yeah. <laughs> of these people that who knows how long they've been there doing that. It's like, and it's just like we got to bring it into the new yeah. era, man. It's just funny. Like, Good stuff. Yeah, it's so funny because yeah. it's like obvious. Yeah, obviously, like you want everything to be equal, but I think, but like it, when you when you start to be more inclusive, you actually become less special. Yeah. It's like there are fundamental differences between men and women, boys and girls. Yeah. Uh, boys, it's important that they, like, you know, that there's, like, male bonding and, like, they learn how to be men, you know? And, like, yeah. They learn how Even to build toxic. stuff and, like, go camping <laughs> and just be... That sounds toxic. Yeah. It's, yeah, and just be dumb. And there's, like... Yeah. But also leadership roles, too. Right. It's pretty much everything that people, are, like, hate about masculinity now... Yeah, that's what the Boy Scouts are for, and maybe that's the reason that they yeah, they had to strange. be taken care of, quote unquote. You know, uh, what's funny is you never hear toxic uh, femininity. Or, yeah, you know it's you've never heard of that term. No, but I'm <laughs> surrounded by it all day. Man. <laughs> all right, uh, last segment we usually do. Born in the USA, but just today, just Florida, the Florida man, that's Florida, Florida edition. Yeah. All right, Florida man. This is one of the a story out that could only. This is a story that could only come out of the state of Florida. <laughs> exactly. It I think it's the never heat. Never come from somewhere else. Florida woman named Crystal Methvin arrested for. What was she arrested for, Craig? Crystal uh, Methvin. Crystal, um, uh, crystal like silverware that she stole from a silverware jewelry store. Because she's a kleptomaniac. Yeah. Uh, no, meth, crystal meth. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. Um, a Florida I would woman. Like her name is. Oh, interesting. She was charged with criminal possession of crystal meth and amphetamine. Mm. An anonymous tip led police to a parking lot where three people were sitting in a car, the uh, news reported. The trio allegedly had drug paraphernalia, mm. as well as a substance that tests revealed to be crystal meth. Hmm. Meth then 40. What if it was just rock candy? Well, then that would have just been plain fun. Yeah. And I think that the police time. would have felt like a bunch of silly geese were just bothering them. Yeah. <laughs> But Methvin, who's yeah. 40 years old, Douglas Nickerson, 41, were well, both that'd arrested. that'd be great if it was, like, Crystal Method and then, like, Bill Crack. Bill <laughs> crack pipe or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody was called, like, Tony Heroin. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tony Freelove? <laughs> As of Thursday, Methvin was being held on a $5,000 bond for drug possession. While Nickerson was held on five thousand five hundred dollars. Oh, oh yeah. So, God. So yeah, the arrest record just goes back to nineteen ninety eight, and it's for just, Crystal, for Crystal yeah. Methvin, and that's is just it, look at that picture. Is it a lot of? She looks just like you remember Beth. You remember girl. Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a mix between her and the girl that uh, in It's Always Sunny that Dennis says is desert trash oh, yeah. or, or Great Plains trash. Yeah, she looks a little haggard. I mean, she oh, has been up she has been doing, you know, the meth for a little while. Yeah, she's been indulging. And so we, you know, we hope So it's not just a clever name. No. She really lives up to. Yes, completely. That's cool. Uh, so get get well it's soon. It's too bad Crystal. her name wasn't like Jill Fruit Smoothie or something. Then she'd just something be really healthy. Healthy. Yeah. yeah. Because the Pablo, the ac- yeah, Pablo, like antioxidants or something. Um, oh my god, Jimmy Vitamins. <laughs> you can send your complaints to our YouTube oh my god. channel if any of those need to be filed. <laughs> you could probably file find us, those. hunt us down, and take us out of our, put us oh out of our god. misery. Well, then I guess my name must be <laughs> Craig Funny Jokes. Oh man, I'm dropping. <laughs> All right, so the second story yeah, in, yeah. Uh, from Florida. Oh, a double Florida. Double edition. whammy. Police arrest Florida man after he steals car with his pet monkey. Allow him one final goodbye. With the monkey? Is it like that episode of Friends? <laughs> where Ross gets to say goodbye to Marcel? <laughs> Allow him to say goodbye. Yeah, you see that? It's, it's like, it's, it's in his chest, like it's... Oh my god, you should play the... 
Boys to Men end of the road. <laughs> At the end of a floor, the road. A Floridian and his monkey mm. were both taken into custody. <laughs> That's a really good indie rock band, the Floridian and his monkey. They're fucking good, man. Uh, the Floridian and his monkey were both taken into custody Friday. Oh my god. His after, monkey was too? After the man. <laughs> oh my god. They're like, tell us everything you know. They're, they're not going to give the monkey the a phone call. The Simeon ain't talking. <laughs> they're not going to. He won't get a phone call. No, no lawyer. What are you going to call Cornelius? Is he a lawyer, huh? Huh? Yeah, Planet of the Apes. Didn't Roseanne get fired for something like that? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I pretty much just made the same joke as Roseanne. Pretty much. No, I'm just I mean, <laughs> yeah, so uh so he the the Floridian and his monkey were taken into custody Friday after the man drove a stolen vehicle into a ditch. Cody Hessen, twenty three, was arrested after police say he took a car from his best friend's stepmom. Cody Hessen and Mr. Sparkles stole the car from <laughs> All right, Mr. Mistopheles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're GTA in this bitch. I'm gonna Wait, get five stars. From his stepmom from his friend, best friend's best stepmom, best friend. without her knowledge. She was a total bitch. <laughs> he was quoted saying, "After he crashed the car, the Pasco <laughs> County Sheriff's Office official said Pasco. they finally caught up with Henson or Hessian. Jim Henson, and, <laughs> and noticed that he had a passenger, Monk." Oh. A four-year-old... Tony Chaloub was there? Uh, capuchin monkey. Oh, that is like what Marcel was, I think. Was seen in police body cam Ross, footage David clinging Schwimmer, where to are the you? man's chest. Before being taken into custody, the man was allowed to say one final goodbye to his furry friend. Oh, my God. The monkey can be seen hugging and holding on to his owner. Deputy Zachary Dendler told Fox 13 that it was, quote, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The deputy said that? Yes. Despite his surprise, he weird... couldn't help but want to pet the monkey. Oh my god. Is that a euphemism? Like he touched the prisoner's dick? No, he just wanted to pet his monkey. Oh, right, okay. He wanted to I pet Monk the monkey. So, wait, the deputy wanted to pet the monkey? Yeah. That's kind of like sadistic, though. He's like, man, I really cherish that memory of separating two loved ones. Yeah. Like, that was really made me feel good. It to made make me that feel man like a real man. Never see that monkey again that he loves. <laughs> yeah. It's sicko. But, yeah, wait till he finds out that they drove it to the glue factory. Yeah. So I petted it in front of him. Uh, police him say off. that the man Chuck did not have off. a permit for the monkey. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Cons- Conservation Commission was called to the scene and Monk the Monkey was transported the to the Suncoast Primate Sanctuary. The man could face additional charges for not having a permit. The news. I don't have to have a permit for any of my him. friends. But the Why application. Does he have to have one for Monk? His application for the permit had been denied back in January. According oh. to the officials, Monk was found in great condition. Hmm. I would have named him Apu. After, like, Aladdin. <laughs> oh, I thought you or meant after the Abu. Simpsons character. It's Abu. That's right, it's Apu. And, like, we can't bring that up because yeah, that's, too. that's, uh, oh, yeah. you can't bring up a poo anymore. Hank Azaria will knock on the door and tell us to stop. <laughs> shame oh, us. He'll shame. You will shame. know the guilt I feel over that character. You can't do it either. And it's like, if you're so guilty, why don't you just give back all the money that you made to yeah. the character? Oh, wait. <laughs> Speaking, he was on Friends also. <laughs> was he on Mad Hank About Azaria. You, too? He fucked the Phoebe. Did he, he really? Him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In, like, all three holes, they say. The Man, she's now. a real uh, a freak. She's a real kitty cat. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening to Let's Spend the Night yeah. Together with a little friends talk sprinkled in. This has been a fun one. <laughs> uh, it's been very weird as always, yeah. <laughs> which I feel like I always say that. The height of weirdness at the end. Um, yeah. So remember, <clears throat> if you're still listening to this, uh, yeah. Which everybody. Godspeed. Who, if you turn it on for a second, you listened all the way to this point. <laughs> yeah. Exactly everybody. right. Thank you for listening. We're going to be uh, keeping on, keeping on. This is episode 56. Yeah. We've been kind of on a hiatus. Yeah. But uh, we've just been doing other stuff. More important stuff than this. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of experimental, uh, scientific stuff. Exactly right. They're turning the frogs gay, everybody. Yeah. Thank you for listening to Let's Spend the Night Together. Infowars.com. Infowars.com. Let's Spend the Night Together. 7-Eleven was an inside job. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> oh, 
Bottles and Shapeshifter. But don't you worry.